shan't violate the sanctity of your boudoir for long, Natalie. I just wanted to make you happy. I'm leaving. I'm going to San Diego for three or four days to straighten out the mess that you and Opal Cortland made of my holdings. Well, you're right. I am happy. Enjoy it while you can. Your days are numbered. Uh, this is where I can be reached in California. Should you and your cardboard lawyer decide to give up. Well, I won't need that. Well, as you wish. I'll be leaving for the plane in five minutes. Close the door on your way out. Auf Wiedersehen. Here. Trevor, it's me. Wonderful news. Adam's leaving. For good? Ah, uh, I only wish. No, he's going to San Diego, but he's going to be gone three or four days. Three or four days. We can be together. Slow down. How do you know he's leaving? Because I saw the airline ticket and he, le he left me the number of the hotel where he's staying. What hotel? It's the Pierre. His flight leaves in an hour. This is our chance. This is the break we have been waiting for. It's your day off. This is fate. Yeah? Trevor, I need you. I have never wanted a man the way I want you. Please say you will drop everything and be with me. <laughs> Darling, no one has followed me since Adam called off the surveillance. You said you weren't being followed either. We're safe. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. We have been so patient. Fate is rewarding us. Please. Meet me at the Black Angus Inn in half an hour. What about Jackson's warnings? Jack's a lawyer. He doesn't feel love the way we do. Bet he'd get a lap out of that one. I'll sign in as Mr. and Mrs. Richard Tracy. <laughs> I'll pay in advance. We can leave any time we want. Sign in as Adam and Eve for all I care. They, they can still subpoena the hotel register. Any hotel clerk, bell, hop, maid that sees us, they can testify. All right, so meeting in a public place isn't ideal. I have a better solution. My bedroom. This dog loves to play with fire. My bedroom's perfect. Quiet, private, safe. Are you coming? There's someone at the door. I, I have to go answer it. Are you coming? I'll be there as soon as I can. I love you. Good afternoon. Mr. and Mrs. Cortland. Oh, right. Winnie, we're here to see Adam. Is he expecting you? Yeah, well, he ought to be. Just tell him we're here, sugar. Throw him out. Well, you going somewhere? Take this doddering shell of a man and get out. You're not welcome in my house. Well, you're welcome in my house. Oh, oh crying out. Palmer, nice oh, to see you, Bill. Well, thank you. I said get rid of them, Winifred. Let me put it to you this way, Chandler. The daughter and Shell and me will not be leaving until we say what we came to say. Right, love stuff. Since you shut your trap, cinch on your shooting iron and listen up. Circle, you? you were wrong. So you've come to gloat, is that it? No, I've come to claim my rightful prize. Now oh, the shooting's over, Chandler. You lost. Darn it. You're demented, Cortland. Your screwball wife's lucky break doesn't mean a damn thing. You, you are a couple of fruitcakes. Everybody's laughing at you. You are the meanest, poorest excuse for a human being that I have ever laid eyes. Shush, shush, shush. Let me talk. And you're going to pay for this too, Natalie. You're not getting off so easy. My wife may be a screwball, but she loves me. And she's loyal, which is more than I can say for your wife. Uh, let's not get into that, darling. You're a laughingstock. <laughs> An object of pity. <laughs> Don't wait up. Let him go. He's on his way to San Diego, and I will be well rid of him. Also, I'm expecting a very important phone call. Yeah, so, well, you... Palmer and Lee didn't come by, you know, just to um, uh, gloat over Adam. No. Oh? 
I came by to, well, to thank you. Well, you thanked me, and I said you're welcome, so. Also, I, 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 I would like to... Um, go, go, go on, sugar. Real men can say the A word. I would like to apologize. Perhaps I've been a little harsh with you in the past. Harsh. That does not begin to cover it. Bob. Well, let's just let bygones be bygones, why don't we? You know, start over, be friends. Opal? Well, I mean, we don't have to start a club up or anything like that, but Palmer and me, you know, we really like you. Well, I like you, Opal, but I think Palmer and I have different definitions of the word friendship. Cordial acquaintanceship, I might be able to handle, but friendship, no. Well, cordial acquaintanceship, it shall be. Hmm? Shall we press on? But we could aim for friendship now, couldn't we? Don't press your luck. I think we better go. All right, well, just don't be a stranger, okay? Stop by any time for coffee, and we'll chew Come the along, fat. Opal. All right, Come darling. On. Okay. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Winifred. Winifred. Winifred, you and Lucretia are the only staff on tonight, right? Right, Mrs. Chen. Well, go home. My husband's off to San Diego. Timothy's staying with Stuart at the gatehouse, and I'd like to wallow in my solitude. You'll be paid for the time, and I don't need to see you until tomorrow at your usual time. Thank you, Mrs. Chandler. Well, don't think anything of it. Just go have a wonderful evening. Well, you too. I'll try. Go up to the airport. Double back stash the car in the bushes. What have I missed? Nothing yet. I want to savor every moment. She's changed clothes. Yeah, but in her dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> what took you so long? Hey, doll. <laughs> I had to do uh, some checking out to make sure everything was copacetic. And? Well, Adam's car is not in the driveway, and the house seems to be empty. Yeah, I told you to relax. It's just too easy. I smell the setup. Look, don't borrow. You smell too trouble. much such a pro. You like the candles? We celebrating? Adam's in the air, Timmy's at Stewart's, the servants have the night off, and we are alone. Chandler just doesn't roll over like this. I missed you so much. Yeah, I missed you too. But this has got my skin crawling. Well, that's romantic. It could be a trap. Look, have faith. Adam went to San Diego to clean up a mess I made when I lost in one of his favorite companies, Cortland Electronic Stage, to take over thanks to Opal and me. Say congratulations. Congratulations. Mm. That's better. I didn't even mind that it cost me a lot of money. It was worth it to see Adam defeated. Oh, you don't mind losing money now? No, not when it uh, ends up this way. What way? Time alone with you, you're all that matters. I've been saying that for months. You're finally listening. Make love to me. Now? Yes. The second thought, I'm not sure how much of this I can stomach. Oh, you are some woman. Worth the risk? <laughs> Worth the risk now and for decades to come. You love me? Doll, do I love you? Oh, give me a bucket. No. There's someone in the house. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll call you. Hello. Here. He had to go to San Diego on business. San Diego? It, well, it was sudden. Oh, they got a great zoo in San Diego. Uh, is Timmy okay? 
Oh, Timmy and Scott are fine. They're roasting marshmallows. We built this big fire. Adam has some, some, some magic powder that you put on the logs and it makes the fire all blue and green and gold and everything. Can I borrow some? Who the hell's in the house? I don't know, but Dylan doesn't seem worried. Nothing that pervert does would surprise me. Thanks. Look, if you're by, all by yourself and everything, why don't you come down to the gatehouse and have some marshmallows with us? Oh, that's a very sweet idea, Stuart, but I don't feel very well. Oh, was it hurt? I'm tired. I just don't have any energy. You know, I bet you're just lonesome. Come on, why don't you put on something really warm and come to the gatehouse? Timmy has got to love it. Well, it's a very sweet idea, but really a bath and, and to bed early is what I need. Oh. Well, you want me to send uh, Timmy up to keep you company? No, don't be silly. No. He has been looking forward all week to spending the night with Scott. I tell you what, though, maybe tomorrow the four of us, just the four of us, will take a bike ride. You want to be alone tonight, don't you? Yes. You got a lot of stuff in your mind to think about? You understand. Yeah. Well, if you change your mind or anything, you want to talk to me, you know where to find me. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come and roast marshmallows? Kiss Timmy for me and enjoy yourselves. Okay, well, you, you get some rest. Good night. So long. <laughs> You gonna make it worth my while? I might. <laughs> I talked to Timmy. Uh -huh. So he won't be calling, so if the phone rings, uh -huh. we can't ignore it. Get on with it, then. Oh, yes. I just can't ignore this bad feeling I got in my gut. Ignore it! Concentrate all your feelings on me. No, these feelings are usually 99.9% reliable. This is an exception. I'm sorry, Tao. I just can't do this right now. Oh. Damn it. You don't mean that. I sure do mean no, it. Oh, no, you don't mean that. I know you don't mean that. That would be inhuman. You're here. Yeah. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Candlelight. Mm -hmm. Come make love to me. What if... It's but, not a trap. But what if... Yeah, it's not. I don't care. I don't care. All I'm thinking about is you and how much I want you. Uh, yes. Yes! Wait so long. So long. Hey. Yes. This has been truly nauseating. But I've finally got these two right where I want them. Wednesday, a children's project at the hospital pits Doogie against the board of directors when it discovers the project supervisor has AIDS. It's a special Doogie Hauser, M.D. Then, while Cindy...